Hey YouTube, what's up? This is 24K signing in. I'm going to attempt some humor tonight. So hopefully I'm kind of funny at the very least. Alright, here I go. When life throws you lemons, pick them up and throw them back at whoever threw them at you. Unless if that person's a major league pitcher, I say run and duck for cover. Now, if you have a baseball bat, or if you have a baseball bat, you could try to hit the lemons being thrown at you. But I wouldn't recommend it if it's going like 100 miles an hour. Your best bet is to run and duck for cover in a situation like that if a major league baseball pitcher is throwing them at you. All right. So I called up my grandpa the other day because I'm a cool grandson like that. I called up my grandpa. Hey, you, Grandpa, you want to go to a movie with me? Sure, what movie are you seeing? I'm seeing X-Men. He said, you're seeing X-Men? What's that about? Men getting sex changes? I'm saying, I went along with it. I said, sure, why not? All right. Now, I have a friend of mine. We'll call him Tommy. He's obsessed with social media. Don't get me wrong. I use Facebook and Twitter and all that. I, I'm fairly obsessed myself. But it, he's obsessed to the extreme. The other day I was talking to him about flamingos. I have no idea why we were talking about flamingos. I came up in a conversation. Don't ask. And he told me, as we were speaking to each other, and we, it was a deep conversation about flamingos and the history of flamingos. He said, Hey, the other day I saw a hashtag flamingo in my front yard. I'm like, first of all, why are we talking about flamingo? Second of all, why did you just say hashtag flamingo? Oh, I want people to find find me. I want people to find our conversation. You do realize that you're not at the computer or using your mobile phone. You do realize that our voices can instantly activate the internet wire wirelessly. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I guess, whoops, I guess I'm doing it out of habit. I'm like, wow, this is kind of bizarre. So it got me thinking, what if, in real life, when we were having conversations with people, we actually had to have conversations in one, 140 characters or less? So we have to, like, constantly count the characters as we're speaking. So, for instance, say I say something like, I don't know, the boy likes cheese. I have to count all those letters and the spaces and punctuation. All right, boy, the boy likes cheese. I'm not going to count it out right now, but okay, I know that's below 140. But what if you're close to the 140 zone and you're saying something like, I don't know, something long, like an important message. Then you have to wait. You have to have that pause to reset your message I don't know it would be very hard to have conversations in real life what if you hashtag things and stuff like that okay I don't know if you find my jokes funny or not but this is usually the time where people lol if you want to that is uh, but yeah I think um, talking in hashtags and having to uh, make sure that you're talking in 140 characters or less it could be kind of fun, but it could be annoying and a challenge. Like, what if we had a, like, what if it was a law saying we can only talk 140 characters or less? We would be constantly counting everything. We would be talking, we would be saying things like BRB. We would spell great with GR8. Our spelling would be completely ruined. You know where he is, but yeah, I think that would be kind of odd. So, I hope you LOL, and I'll. T Y T L. Talk to you later. T T Y L. I already feel at talking internet speak. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, AlexGold14. Feel free to subscribe to me. Thanks for watching.